Sarah is going for a CAT scan as her father, Ben, watches. She closes her eyes and appears to be dreaming. The machine starts to malfunction, and Sarah suddenly opens her eyes wide and cries out. They drag her from the machine, and she's sat in a wheelchair. She insists she wants red, and her father places a red crayon in her hand. She calms, and as she's taken back to her room, the doctors explain that they're still trying to diagnose what is wrong with her. Ben asks if they've been spoken to or listened to her. Meanwhile, a mysterious stranger whispers to Sarah, and she drops the crayon. She starts to chant that she wants the red crayon. The doctor suggests taking her to a specialist institution. Ben puts Sarah to bed, and she says, not again, and that she wants to go home. Ben looks out of the window and into the rain and the storm. Later, Ben wakes her and tells Sarah that he's going to take her out. As they sneak through the corridors, Sarah starts to yell that she wants the red crayon. A nurse named Emily stops him and tries to convince him to stay, but he says that they have no idea what is going on. Meanwhile, Sarah has been drawing an eerie scene with shadowy black figures. They step into the elevator and it starts to move, when suddenly, it gets stuck between floors 6 and 7. A man named Tobias collapses, and Rick, the security guard, calls for help, but he only hears his own message in response. Tobias eventually sits up and asks why they've chosen him. The elevator door suddenly opens on floor 6. There's no one around, and the nurse wonders where everyone has gone. The elevator's no longer working, so they head for the maintenance staircase. Ben can hear a noise, and as Rick investigates, he finds the copier is working on its own. Emily bends down to pick up the copies, and there seems to be an image of a face on the pages. They hear another sound, and find a woman in an electric wheelchair. Emily approaches her, and they see that she has no eyes. John, the final passenger in the lift, suggests that they get out of there, but Tobias says that it's no good. They know where everyone is all the time, except for him. Rick calls over the intercom, but again can only hear his voice. As they walk away, Sarah has drawn a picture of the woman in the wheelchair. They head down the stairs, but someone shoots up the stairwell at them, injuring Rick and making John drop a teddy bear that he's carrying. They take shelter on the fifth floor and barricade the door. As Emily tends to Rick's wound, they can hear a noise from the door, so they attempt to find another way out. Rick switches on the security monitors to find that the hospital's empty. John calls for help over the intercom, giving away their location, but Rick tries to stop him. Emily suddenly notices some shadowy figures on the third floor. Ben takes some radios, but suddenly realizes that Sarah has vanished. He soon finds her, but there's an eerie figure at the door. He brings her back to the others. Suddenly, they can hear a number of transmissions. The feedback forces them to cover their ears, but suddenly, a number of ghostly figures appear. Rick shoots at them, and everyone runs as the ghosts pursue them. Rick continues to shoot, but as he leans back, he switches on an x-ray machine, which appears to scare the creature away. Ben asks Tobias if he had seen it before, as he noticed that he covered his ears before the ghost started screaming. Tobias calls it the Scream Queen. John suggests that this is a hallucination. Emily warns that if they stay near the x-ray machine for too long, then they'll be exposed to too much radiation. John angrily leaves the group, but Emily suggests that the rest of them stay together. Ben is worried what will happen to Sarah if she doesn't get her medication. John reaches the elevator and presses the button. He notices that his watch has stopped and hears a noise beneath them before the doors close. He screams out and the others rush to rescue him. An arm smashes through the floor and as Rick grabs a fire extinguisher to defend himself, John gets in the way and is knocked out. Rick then hits the monster to make it go back down the hole. Tobias is holding a gun with him. Emily asks what he's doing. He says that he's done this a hundred times over. He stops when Sarah promises that he'll sleep and Emily takes the gun. As they pull John free, the monster re-emerges and bites him on the leg. Emily examines the wound while Ben checks on Sarah. He sees that she's drawn what they saw on the lift. He asks if she's seen it, but she just asks for the red crayon. John is rude about Sarah and Ben gets angry with him. Emily calls out on the intercom and seems to get a response. They decide to leave to find the others, that they think they heard. They are now on floor three, and Emily finds her dead colleagues all stacked in her room. They hear a monster approaching before it crashes through a wall. Everyone runs except Tobias, who is ignored by the creature. Rick shoots at the monster, but is killed as the others escape. When the coast is clear, 
they emerge from the room. John believes that the monsters are after Sarah, but Ben tells him that he won't let his daughter die just to save him. They suddenly notice that outside time appears to have stopped. A message comes through the intercom, but it's Emily's message from earlier. She hangs up when she realizes what is happening. Sarah needs her medicine, so Ben grabs a sledgehammer to break through a wall to get to the ER. He leaves with Emily as John is left with Sarah with the warning to look after her. Emily asks Ben what if Sarah does have something to do with this. She says that when she touched Tobias' hand, it was like he was dead. They find a body on the floor and bend over to examine it. Sarah's drawing, and John asks what it is. Ben tries to break through a wall at the bottom of the lift shaft. Emily reveals that she has a son, but the father was a bad man. They hear a noise from above, and Ben shoots up. A teddy bear falls to the ground, and Ben realizes that it was him that just shot Rick. John wheels Sarah around as sand starts to blow in through an air vent. Ben breaks through the wall, and inside, Emily hears a noise. Upon further investigation, they find some figures covered in goo. John has wheeled Sarah into the corridor and calls out that they can have her. A decayed Tobias sneaks up behind them and stabs John, telling him that she's not his to give away. Ben hears a transmission from the radio from Tobias, and he fears for Sarah. Upstairs, John is hitting Tobias, who asks him if he's ever been cold. Ben goes back up and finds that Sarah and John are missing. John continues to offer Sarah. Suddenly, there's a sandstorm, and Ben and Emily arrive just in time to see John get killed by a creature. The creature vanishes, and Emily notes that it looks as though Tobias has been dead for a week. Before they leave, they pick up Tobias' radio. As Ben, Emily, and Sarah head downstairs, they find more bodies. Ben asks Sarah if she knows the way out. She then draws the route for him. They reach a room, and Emily starts to search for Sarah's medicine. They suddenly realize that Sarah has gone missing and split up to find her. Sarah hears a noise and hides under a bed as a monster comes in and starts to devour some of the scattered corpses. She uses a defibrillator to stun the creature and escapes. Meanwhile, Ben opens a door where he discovers a brightly lit room where everything appears to be normal, but no one seems aware of his presence. Suddenly, he hears Emily on the radio and he tells her where he is. She goes to the location but he's not there. He pushes through a door and finds himself back in the darkness. In the distance, he can see Sarah. A creature attacks him, but he's saved by Tobias. Ben goes to Sarah and is joined by Emily. The elevator opens and they climb in. The door closes just before a creature tries to get them and they escape. The elevator appears to be malfunctioning and they get out in the basement. Some ghosts appear through the floor and injure Emily's leg before disappearing again. Ben instructs Emily to sit in Sarah's chair with her so that he can push them together. As he pushes them through a corridor of corpses, the bodies twitch, but suddenly the clock moves and the bodies start to get up. They lock themselves in the morgue. The creatures try to break in, so Ben picks up his daughter and they escape out of another door. Emily tries to follow, but is trapped. Ben tries to get her out, but he's unsuccessful. Sarah starts to say that it's coming, and so they get into an ambulance. He drives away, but Sarah says that it's there. Ben crashes the ambulance and is unable to restart it as a mysterious goo starts to advance on them. Just in time, he's able to restart the engine and they drive away. Again, Sarah starts to scream and the goo forms into a monster, blocking their way. Ben drives through, but Sarah says that what happens will happen. They're still trapped in the garage, so Ben gets out and sits Sarah on the ground. He tells her to wait there and somebody will come back and get her. He gets back in the ambulance and drives it straight at the monster. The ambulance stops in a blinding light and Sarah is standing in front of him. The goo envelops Ben and he dissolves into the ground. Sarah walks towards the creature and demands to go home. It roars at her and she closes her eyes. When she opens them again, she's back in the CAT scan machine screaming. Ben drags her out and this time hands her a blue crayon. We see the events of the movie play out again. The mysterious figure that approached her in the corridor was Tobias, who tells her that he doesn't feel cold anymore. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlists on the screen. Thanks for watching!